Good morning, guys. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, on a very, very beautiful day in the Texas Hill Country. The temperature right now is 64 degrees Fahrenheit. The high today is supposed to be 84 degrees. It's 1018 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I have just left the grocery store where I went and got me some wine, a red wine, a Shiraz which I enjoy with pizza. And I might have a slice of pizza for supper tonight, so I'll have that. But anyway, this is Marble Falls, Texas, for you new guys. Population about 6,000 people. Uh, yeah, 6,000. <clears> and this is the Highland Lakes. The lakes are formed by the Colorado and the Llano Rivers in Central Texas, USA. And for those of you that are interested in watching videos where the individual do, doing the video gets right to the point, uh, you might want to go ahead and leave because I'm not going to get directly to the point and rarely do I do that. <clears throat> Why is that? Because that's just the kind of guy I am. <clears throat> so moving right along here with my topic list video, actually I do have some two things actually. One is uh, the uh, RV show in Austin was pretty good, and now that I've reflected on it for uh, overnight, uh, it occurred to me that it appears that the direction of the RV interest industry is to add more and more frills and entertainment systems to the RVs. I, I guess that's where the audience is. Obviously, it is, or they wouldn't be doing it. You know, they build them based on demand. And Apparently the public has demanded it. But anyway, they've got some huge fifth wheels and all that kind of stuff. I'll be posting videos periodically of the RVs that I video. I'll do a few every day, every day, every day till I run out. I think I did about 10 or 12 different units while I was there. Uh, but anyway, while I was there, I had an interesting experience. I ran into a gentleman who was looking at a small travel trailer and he we got to talk and he was asking me questions i told him i had full-time rv for about 20 years and now i go camping in a toyota prius a car so if you're interested in full-time rving or going camping in a car check out my playlist on my home page at my channel home page rusty78609 anyway Anyway, while I was talking to this guy, you know, I asked him what he was planning on doing. He said, you know, he and his wife were going to retire, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he told me he was a professor at the University of Texas. And I thought, well, how interesting. I haven't talked to a professor from the University of Texas in probably 71 years. And anyway, I said, well, what do you teach? And he said, well, he was... A biology professor but his specialization was what they call I never even heard of it synthetic biology you got me well there's a lot to synthetic biology and I found out a lot about it but I can't remember the details of it but I did get home and check out some YouTube videos about synthetic biology and it is new and it's a hell of a it's gonna change things big time just like technology is changing our way of living in other areas like autonomous cars and all this other stuff this synthetic biology is going to change a lot of things related to plants and forms of energy and all kind of stuff and it deals with see they, they sequenced the dna i don't know 20 20 years ago or so and now they've got into the human genome and some other stuff, but <clears throat> it's really fascinating. So for you guys that are interested in kind of the latest developments on the scientific front, check out Synthetic Biology. Go to YouTube and just do a search for Synthetic, for bio, synthetic Biology and watch a, a documentary about it because it is extremely uh, interesting to me to other people it might be somewhat boring but I like stuff like that and also 
uh, singularity is another interesting area where you know we become one with the computer, so to speak, or actually where the computer are is actually smarter than humans. You know how close are we to that happening? Some say within a few years, some say several years. It just depends on which video you watch. But all of that fascinates me. But then I got to thinking about the changes that humans have been through and how many of them were really major turning points in, in, uh, in our history. For example, the fact that I'm making words by blowing air through my vocal cords that you can understand, that was a major event back when, you know, it, you know, grunting, I guess, was the way you did it. We still use words like uh-huh and uh-uh. You know, that goes back to the caveman, I think. Uh-huh, uh-uh. You know, that's amazing. But having said that, you know, that was a major breakthrough, being able to communicate with one another with words, and then person would remember, remember those words and go communicate your idea to someone else. That was kind of an internet of its own. And then we moved from there to printing, you know, to actually printed words and being able to save those records and build on that information to develop products and so forth. So, you know, I think there, in our, throughout humanity, even though some of the progress was very slow and this particular event seems to be coming along fairly quickly, it's still uh, turning points and you had to adapt to those changes and you had to get used to them. I'm sure there were people back in the caveman day that said, hell, I'm not gonna talk. You know, I'm not gonna form words. I'm just gonna sit here and grunt and poo-poo and that's the end of that. You know, and just like people uh, with the internet, a lot of people resisted it and said, you know, that's totally useless. You know, there's no, it's just a fad. People aren't gonna use it. You know, you either adapt, adapt or get lost in the, in the thundering herd. But for, for you, we just passed through a little town called Granite Shoals for you new guys. This is Highway 1431 in Central Texas on a beautiful day. And, uh, but if you ever come to Texas, Central Texas, I think one of the places you might want to visit that would be nice and enjoyable is a little town called Fredericksburg, Texas. Fredericksburg, Texas. It's a German community. Been there for 100 years or more. And uh, population about 10 or 11,000. But they always have something going on. Always. Always. The downtown area is just a shopper's dream. Okay? They got hundreds of little shops. And uh, they get a lot of tourists. But anyway, back to synthetic biology and singularity and all of that stuff. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, there are major breakthroughs happening in the medical field as we speak. Uh, you know, I think one of the things that holds us back from really developing a cure for cancer is the fact that it is such a po profitable disease that if it was cured, there are some large corporations that would be very hardly hard impact. They, they would suffer financially from having cured their bread and butter disease. But anyway, what else is happening in my world? Been pretty smooth. I think uh, next month in March, probably the mid, toward the middle of March, depending on what the temperatures are in the southwest, you know, New Mexico, Arizona, Southern Nevada, Southern California. I may take a trip out that way for a while. I'm not sure I'm thinking about it. Just take it easy out there and take it easy back. How long I'll be gone, I have no clue. I have no plans right now, just thinking about it. Had some comments about towing a one of those micro RVs behind a uh, uh, Toyota Prius and how it would impact the fuel mileage or gasoline mileage and uh, I've never towed anything behind my Prius nor do I plan to but 
based on what I found out by looking at chat rooms on Google for Prius, Prius owners chat rooms, it appears that those people that have tried to tow things around 800 to 1,000 pounds, it reduces their gas mileage from about 50 miles to a gallon to just, just around 30 or a little above. So it's pretty much like towing a travel trailer with a gasoline powered pickup. If you're getting 20, normally when you're towing, you're gonna get 10, average. So, what else is going on? I've already had my dark chocolate almonds and my green tea. Did my walking. Beautiful day. I got up and went walking this morning. It was about, I don't know, 58 degrees, clear, very little wind. I did my washing. I got a wash machine, but I don't have a dryer. And when I wash my clothes, I hang them up on what's called an umbrella dryer which fits uh, in the little, I have a table on my deck that you can put an umbrella in on, you know what I mean? It's got a little center hole and you put your umbrella there. Well, I put this umbrella dryer in that hole and it opens up, it's got all these little wires around where you can hang clothes. That's what I do, I hang them out in the sunlight. When the wind blows a little bit, it turns the umbrella so that the, uh, clothes are getting dried from all sides. It works very good, very good. I like it. So I'm not planning on getting a dryer. But I got tired of going to wash interiors or laundromats. You meet the nicest people there. There are, you know, it's like anywhere else. There's a lot of good people and there's always a few rodents. That's the way life is. You go camping somewhere and there's a lot of great people and always a few rodents that um, give you a migraine headache. Not me, because I'll just leave. But anyway, guys, this is, uh, we're coming into uh, Kingsland, Texas area. I'm not going to go all the way to Kingsland. I'm going to take a right before I get there. There's a historical marker on the left, but it's about Lake LBJ. There's a scenic overlook there. I've done a video there a couple of times. And uh, we're just to my left, about 100 yards, is Lake LBJ. It's a constant level lake. Some of the lakes in this area are not. For example, Lake Travis is not constant level. That's a lake near Austin, Texas. And uh, Lake Buchanan, a 22,000 acre lake in the little, near the little community of Lake Buchanan is uh, not a constant level lake and so the lake levels fluctuate quite a bit depending on the uh, amount of rainfall we get on the watershed for the lakes but anyway guys i'm going to end this video right up here in just a minute but we're coming close to uh, kingsland texas for you people that want to know about central texas you know if i was watching a video that a man or lady had done from, say, China, uh, you know, seeing what the countryside was like would be of interest to me. You know what I mean? So I don't mind doing these videos. They don't get many views. The reason is uh, there's no clickbait. You know, there's no there's no title that to entice people in. You know, you, you just say cruise in Texas. Well, you know, there's about two and a billion that get real excited about that but anyway this is farm road i, I always want to say like 2342 i'm not sure I, it's funny i can't remember the number of this road i've been on it a thousand times this road goes up and intersects with park road four which goes to my home i live close to the colorado arm of lake lbj we have a uh, community park on the water where you can launch boats and stuff. And it's a locked gate, combination lock. It's got those little numbers on the bottom of the dial. And whenever you pay your property owners association dues, which are $10 per lot per year, then they send you the combination and you're able to access the uh, 
park. Very few people use it. I've been down there several times. There's never anybody there. I think a lot of the people that live in my area aren't even aware that it's available to them. But having said that, guys, I'm going to end the video. But again, thank you, subscribers. I do appreciate it. And I hope you know what you're in for. <laughs> and I've had some comments, negative comments, about you know, the fact that I'm a little slow to get to the point. And, you know, that's just the way I am. And that's the way this channel is going to be. For those of you that don't mind that or enjoy it, that's good. And for those of you that don't, uh, perhaps there's another channel you might enjoy more. Uh, but having said all that, for you guys that fan fun, don't think I, I do notice that. I do appreciate it. I will spend every dime of it traveling in the next few months. And uh, anyway, guys, thumbs up here. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy USA made when you can, if you can. Take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, that does relieve stress. Also, another simple thing to do to help your health, drink plenty of water, you know, drink three quarts a day, you know, if you can, a gallon wouldn't hurt you, you'd pee a lot, and that's what it's all about flushing out your body and uh, you know get a good night's sleep stretch your arms stretch your arms stretch walk you know it's uh, there's so many simple things that an individual can do to to stay healthy without going to doctors and getting prescription drugs and there's a lot of home remedies and uh, so anyway point being keep your health so you can watch all my exciting viral videos and uh, <laughs> anyway guys enjoy your day adios from central texas usa bye bye